or tetroponera rufoni gra walker has trapped itself in a spider's web. It is struggling and trying its best to free itself from the trap. But the spider's web is strong and the more the ant is trying to free itself, the more it is getting trapped in the sticky web. Sensing the vibration created by the ant's struggle, the spider approaches and begins to wrap the ant in its web. It then tries to bite the ant with its poisonous fangs. But oh, the spider gets nearly stung by the ant's venomous sting. Weary of the ant's sting, the spider continues to wrap the ant in its web. And then he finally goes for the bite. The spider then returns back to its resting place. The tetraponera is paralyzed a bit but it is still alive and struggling. Meanwhile, the spider waits for the ant to die. But what is this thing? A black colored fly. Oh, there is another fly that looks like a fruit fly. Now let me tell you that the fly that was attacking the ant at the beginning was none of these flies. That was a forid fly. But what are these black colored flies? Look how easily they are walking through the spider's web. And look how they are sitting over the struggling ants. What are they doing? Another ant has fallen in the spider's web. And the spider which is of the genus Pteridion is wrapping its second victim in a silk. One of the black fly is still there. It looks like it is not afraid of the spider. The spider soon leaves, leaving behind the struggling ant. Here comes the black fly. Why are these flies after these ants? Are they feeding on these poor ants? My curiosity over these flies let me do some research on them. And this is what I found. These are freeloader flies. They are also called jackal flies. They belong to the family Milichidae. They are usually 1 to 3 mm in length. These flies are kleptoparasitic in nature, that is, they feed on the body fluid of prey of other invertebrate predators. The prey in most cases are honeybees, but here we can see that they are after the ants. But whether these flies are puncturing the body of the victims or just leaking the fluid coming out from the puncture made in the ants body by the spider's bite is difficult to detect. The spider's web is full of carcasses of its prey. And the flies are there everywhere to take advantage of the unfortunate victims. However, we also found this spider in the same web. And besides feeding on the small black ants, it is also feasting on the flies. This time, a Catalucus granulatus has fallen in the spider's web. What should we do? Save it? Or let nature take its own course? Do comment below and let us know what should we have done.